Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products. Welcome to the Revit Tips and Tricks series. This is tip number three and four, drag and drop and pick first. Tip number three for drag and drop, what we're talking about is in the open dialog box. Here on the left hand navigation pane, you have different folders that you can set up. The traditional approach would be to drag and drop or go to the location that you want and click this tools button down here and click Add Current Folder to Places. You can, however, just left click and hold in the main window area and drag it over to where you want and it will add it to that vertical column, gray column. So you could do this for any folder that you want and um, it's quite easy to work with. The second tip is pick first. What we talk about is when you are looking at your content in Revit and you hover your mouse over an entity, it will highlight in blue. If you hit the tab key, it will highlight everything that it can find that's joined together. The behavior is interesting because depending on where you are on the object and what side of the object your cursor is on and how many times you hit the tab key will dictate what it looks at. If I just place my cursor on the left or the, or say the right hand side of that wall and I hit tab once it will highlight everything around the perimeter of the building. If I hit tab twice it will look at the other intersecting objects and give me those. The behavior on an interior wall construction only gives you the first object that is hovered and the second object that is connected to it. If there's more than one possibility as you hit tab, the possibilities will highlight. And those are tips number three and number four for the Revit Tips and Tricks series.